So you're a software engineer at Walmart Labs. What kind of projects are you working on there? Well, I mean, Walmart Labs, what we do is I'm on the platform team, which is part of the UI team, and we're building libraries and tools and frameworks to make application development easier. And so one of the things we built was uh, Lazo.js, which is like client-server JavaScript, or fancier words, isomorphic JavaScript. But basically, it's allowing creating something that has the same life cycle that can run on the client and the server versus everything only being able to run the UI and everything only being able to run the server. So that's okay. one of the main things we've been working on lately. Terrific. Yeah, and you've recently open sourced Lazo.js. Yeah, actually this Monday we just open sourced it, so that was four days ago. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so in terms of full stack JavaScript development, you hear a lot about single page web application development. So what is different between that and this sort of hybrid model? Sure. I mean, with a single page application, again, it's designed to run on the client only. Mm -hmm. And some other limitations to that are that you can't use fully qualified URLs except for in browsers to support it because it'll break because they don't support the HTML5, like the history API. And so with Lazo, what we do is, is um, we have the ability to render on the server. So you can use fully qualified URL out, URLs, and then if those break or something, like you don't support the push state, then we can just fall back on server-side rendering. So you don't have to worry about any of those kind of details. And you still get that code base that runs on the client and the code base that runs on the server. But then we kind of make it a lot simpler for you to make something that, like a public-facing website that's indexable. So, mm -hmm. So what are some of the advantages and what kind of you know, problems does this solve for your team? Sure. I mean, basically what it solves for our team or any other team is it allows you to focus on, again, just application development because you're using a framework versus a library. And then it allows you to just to have that single code base and solve, you know, how do I get my, my page indexed? You know, I, I want to use JavaScript. I want to use a single UI layer. How do I make that indexable by search engines? How do I get my, you know, when a user hits my site, how do I get that page to load up quickly versus throwing up a bunch of spinners? How do I get from one page to the next, speedy page transition? So it helps with all those kind of things. That sounds great. So how would you say that this was designed? So you're a front-end engineer. So yeah. was this designed you know, to help with the front-end of you know, this sort of development? Or Sure. Yeah, I mean, basically what it's designed for is, you know, we're not the first people to do this. You know, Airbnb renders on it. People mm -hmm. have done it like that. But what we tried to do, and I'm, I'm not saying Airbnb didn't try to do this, but we tried to look at it really from that front-end engineer's perspective and design it for them to make it easier for them to kind of to build these things out. And so that, that was like what we had in mind when we designed this was the front-end engineer. Okay, mm -hmm. great. So what is um, what are some of your hopes for the future in terms of, you know, open sourced it now? And sure. Um, our hopes for the future are that whole list of GitHub enhancements. So if people are watching this, you can go <laughs> check that out and um, hopefully help out with some of those things to make it even more easier to build these you know, robust applications. There's a lot of features we want to add on there to make things much simpler. But, so. Terrific. Well, it sounds yeah. like a great project. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for joining me. Yep, sure.